we see go, and go, the shooter who's at back run, 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 right? I, I go, should be safe. Right. Now the scripture says, so, that's what as we see in verse 20, yay, so it had a strive to preach the gospel. Man and camera, come on closer, bro. This should be tight corner. Right. Tell them that. Romans 15, verse that. 20. This should be Yay. Corner now. So right. have I That's strived right. to, to preach the gospel, That's right. not where Mashiach was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And shalom uh, to any other people out there that may be listening. Um, hopefully the 144 hopefully elect and the one-third of Israel who don't know that they're Israelites yet, but soon to come uh, well first and foremost I want to turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekakadash I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the hundred percent truth and keeping it real uh, keeping us in line keeping these us camps in line the ones that's under the banner of Great Millstone salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity and the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever he goeth. Well, here we go again. <laughs> Can you believe I, ISUBK is in the uh, dunk seat again? Or going to the principal office again? Once again, he's, he's in the hot water with, you know, with the men of the Lord. He stepped out of bounds. He's, he's, not, he's not preaching the word. He's not looking for the 144 hopefully elect. He's scattering the flock, man. He's calling it mischief. He's doing wickedness. He's being carnal. As you can see in this video. This is just a quick um, you know, just a quick touch on, on these on these guys again, man. Um and uh you know the funny thing about it at camp the other day when this video came out I think it came out after I got finished with my camp and got back home uh, yeah it was it was actually late late in the evening uh, when I got back and I saw them and I was like oh my goodness because at camp I had just um, read the scripture and I immediately realized that that scripture uh, brought to my ISUPK so I'm gonna bring that scripture out again and then a few more scriptures, man. Just close it out, okay? Uh, this is a uh, what was it? It's First John chapter two, verse nineteen, and it, it simply says, "Oh, well, let's let's go. Let's 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 start at fifteen. So it's First John chapter two, verse fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Now we already know that I S." UPK has signed the 501c3 charter, which uh, is them having a contract with the with the with the government of this world. So they're they're uh, they're going against the scriptures right there, because the Lord said, "Thou shalt not have any covenants with them." So by doing that, you're saying that you somehow, you know, uh, making a pact with the with the wicked wickedness of this world. And you're under their their rule actually when it comes to bringing out the truth okay this is verse 16 it says for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but it is of the world and we also come to understand that um, these brothers promote uh, elder brothers going out with really young 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 women you know even though they say we're rapists and everything here at Great Millstone uh, but they're actually going out courting young girls, um, which is not expedient in this day and time. And and uh, like some of the elders and apostles, uh, specifically uh, the elder uh, defender of the doctrine, has pointed out many times that these these young people, these young women right now, are not the same as they were back in the ancient days when they were actually raised and groomed to be young ladies from an early age so that when they when it's time of their flower they will already be ready you know and, and mentally and understand how to be, be a young lady <clears throat> these these girls don't know that but these guys are taking advantage of them you know uh, because they're lust of the flesh this is verse 17 
and the world passes away in the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai abideth forever. And as you can see in this video, that these dudes are not doing the will of the Lord. Instead, they're coming up against the, the man of the Lord, who is supposed to be their brethren. Why would you be right behind them, yelling, when they're trying to bring out the word? They're trying to seal the 144 hopeful elect and bring out the truth, you know, of the doctrine, man. But what the hell are these dudes doing? They're coming up against the doctrine. They're coming up against the word of the Lord because they're, they're being scoffers, actually. They're out there uh, talking over the word of the Lord. They're wearing hats. You know, once again, going against the scriptures. Disobedient children. Now let's get down to the meat of this scripture. This, so this is uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 18. It says, Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. Here we are. These dudes are Antichrist. Period. Point blank. They're not... They're not out there preaching the word of the Lord. They're yelling, talking about it's their corner. You know what I'm saying? What the? It's their corner. But then, then this other scripture right here just says, love not the world. So do y'all love that corner? Sounds like you love the corner because you want that corner. We don't want the corner. We want the world, Jack. We want to be joint heirs when you have a shot when he comes back. It says, this verse 19, they went out from us, and this is the point of this whole scripture. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. And that's the point of the scripture. Because ISUPK uh, got their teaching from UPK. It was called UPK before they, and they added the ISUPK. So they got their teaching from One West. So they were of us, just like the scripture said, they went out from us. They went out from us. But they were not of us. They switched up the doctrine. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. And there's many other camps. All the other camps is not under the banner of Great Millstone with 100% truth. Same damn thing, man. Because if they were, they would just say, they would say, hey man, we want we we coming over here to be with y'all, Great Millstone, because we understand that you have the hundred percent truth, and we, the Lord said, be under one accord. But y'all want to be out there, away from the body. It's, pl it's fucking plain and simple, man. Pride goes before destruction. He says, they would no doubt if, it's for if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out. That they might be made manifest that they were not all of us and that's simple and plain they're not of us but now their works have been manifest to show clearly that they are not of us and you know why you know why that is let's get that in book in the book of Psalms chapter 16 Okay. Psalms chapter 16 verse 9 I'm sorry no not Psalms Proverbs y'all Proverbs it's lucky Proverbs 16 verse 9 it says a, a man's heart devises his way but the Lord directs his steps okay the Lord put those men there why so their ways can be made manifest, man, to us. Let's get another one. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? The man, the goings of the man is of the Lord, man. So, once again, the Lord, that's how powerful the, the Lord is. And that's why we're afraid of the Lord. Okay? He directs your steps. He got you doing what he wants you to do. You might think you're doing something, but no, you're not doing that. You're going to do what the Lord say. Okay? But that's why, uh, blessed are your eyes to see, my brothers and sisters. Blessed are your eyes to see. And your ears to hear. Because this is a precious thing. And we have, must treat it so. Let's go to the book of uh, Matthew chapter 12, verse 30. He that is not with me is against me. 
and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. And that's exactly what these dudes are doing right now. They're not with Yahweh by Hashem Al Shai. They're not preaching the doctrine that they learned. They done changed up the doctrine and now they're scattering the sheep, man. They're scattering. They're scattering the flock. This is gonna be the last scripture right here. I didn't want it to be long at all. Like I said, like I said before, there's not much to say about these cats, man. The Lord said right here. Fear not them. This is uh second Ezra chapter 15. We're gonna start at verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. See, because these brothers don't, these dudes, they don't believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man. They don't think that John the Baptist um, was in the truth. On and on and on, on and on and on. One thing after the next, man. One thing after the next. They don't believe that you should follow the commandments. They want to wear hats while they're supposed to be prophesying. You know what I'm saying? That's why it says, Fear not the imaginations of, against thee. Let not the incredulity, which means, which means unbelieving, of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. Here's, here's the point of the scripture. For all the, the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. Okay? So, basically, these dudes are fitted for destruction when the Lord come back. Okay? And anybody that continues to follow these guys, just like we keep saying, you're going to be in the same lot, man. Because you, you don't believe in, in the Lord. And the Lord just said, uh, whoever believes not in the Son is condemned already. Who's who, who's Yahweh Hashem He's the Word. And it's simple as that. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopefully elect of Israel. Who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Wait, did that. Pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever he goeth. Shalom Israel. <laughs>